I'm telling you, I have a stalker. Cookie, we have a lot of security guards. They all hate me. That's true. We do hate them. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Test vibration. Six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. In your coffin. <coughs> Doomsday Devices Limited. Forget the black market. Buy your Doomsday Device from a federally regulated limited liability company. of a better word is good greed works my dad says being greedy is bad your dad wouldn't know how to pour piss out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel hello everybody i'm the loudhouse critic one guy with a thousand views and all the episodes i must review so um <clears throat> two years ago i got some highly requests for me to review this episode until i got an unexpected phone call to have me review another abomination during this time of the month after reviewing one that flew over the Loud House and Yes Man. And I could say only about 5% of the fans told me to review this episode, while 25% of them told me to bash this episode. It's a loud, 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 loud house. In my case, I'm just gonna call it It's a Loud House. This is the 26th episode of season one of The Loud House. So when I first watched this episode, I felt quite entertained by it because some of the humor kind of got me laughing. But when watching it again though, I feel like it just wore off on me. Cause something about this episode really agitate me. As much as the fans are pissed with this episode. But is this episode still squeezing my gonads until they explode? Let's find out. Um, hang on a second everybody, that's my phone. Oh, I gotta take this. Hello? Yes, this is him. Oh, how do you do sir? Well, I just got about two episode reviews to do before I can get my season four premiere in December. December the 7th? Well, no, I haven't reviewed that one yet, but I can assure you I can actually squeeze that one in for my for a Loud House Critic season four. Yeah, you know, in fact, I think I'm actually gonna review that one in December, probably the week after Christmas. No, Christmas Eve is on a Friday this time. It was on a Thursday last year, which is why I didn't review a Loud House episode that day. That's why I released it Sunday. Yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. Cause whatever Loud House episode I'm actually gonna review the next Thursday, I'm working on the next episode after that one. So I'm technically working on the next Thursday after that Thursday review. Yeah, good day, sir. Okay, that was a weird phone call. Let's get on with the review. Hey, what you doing there, son? Money. In the Loud House, there just isn't a lot of it to go around. Wow, I can't even fucking imagine why. I suppose the next thing you be saying is that money doesn't grow on trees. Now I'm starting to believe how the author of Pinocchio actually got the expression on that tree growing thing. You've got to keep it to yourself. Jackpot! Mwah. Wow, so you'd rather pick up a $50 bill off the street instead of just leaving it where it is. Then again, that doesn't sound too bad. We heard money! A dime! No, a quarter! That's impossible! Money doesn't make a sound. 
Haven't you ever heard the expression, money talks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one, Luann. And that quarter is saying, hand me over, bro. It's mine. Guys, let's just split it 40-40. Well, I've seen worse. Oh, shit. I can already tell they're already being greedy about this. And I really don't like the looks on their faces. Well, it's some of them, at least. At least they're not doing that stupid ass kind of smile that they did in Frenzy. I found it in the couch fair and square. Wait a second. If there was one quarter down there, then maybe there's more. What are they fighting over this time, a nickel? You know, every time I see these stupid siblings fight like this in a big cloud, it brings back a bad memory of the sweet spot. This should have been called Sweet Spot 2.0, if you remember what they did in that episode. All right, everybody get upstairs and clean the attic. It's punishment for fighting over money. So now Lincoln and his sisters are up cleaning the attic. And I want that whole attic sparkling. Even the back corner. But the back corner was my secret dark place. It's Lincoln's fault we're up here, so he can do it. I'm telling you. So you can just shut up about that. You know, I'm so tired and sick of this shit how everybody's putting the blame on Lincoln every time they act like they didn't do anything wrong. I mean, why the hell would Lincoln get all the punishment and the blame when seriously they're the ones who started this shit storm? They're the ones who actually should get the punishment and not Lincoln all the fucking time. Uh, and watch out for that loose floorboard! What loose floorboard? <laughs> Stupid loose floorboard. Hey, what's this? Dear future residents of 1216 Franklin Avenue, my family always fought over money, so I decided to leave my fortune for you in the hope that you will share it. For a clue on where the money is hidden, reflect upon what I've said here. Signed, Mrs. Sharon DeMonet, the original owner. Sharon DeMonet. Now, what does that sound like to anybody? Because I'm pretty sure that's a good name pun of meaning something that this episode is meaning to tell us. Hey guys, check it out! I found this letter from the original owner. She said she's hidden money in the house. Yeah, right, Lincoln. Quit stalling. You're not getting out of cleaning the attic. Yeah! Very well. Have it your way. Fuck all of you. I'll just do it by myself. And when I do, it'll be all mine. Where all of the gold is mine. Damn it, yeah. As you can tell from how they left in the flash, you can tell what the fuck they're really gonna do now. And it kind of reminds me of an episode of the Power of Girls where everybody was going after the key to the city. Then again, I might be wrong about that one. Anyways. Lisa, what are you doing? Uh, just calibrating my dumb human detector. Calibrated. Don't make me hurt you. I'm gonna take that damn thing, I'm gonna whack that mop off your head, and I'm gonna shove it up your- LANGUAGE! Sorry. Sorry. Lucy! See anything? Lynn! Ah! Uh, God damn. I'm just putting laundry down the chute. Laundry doesn't scream and go thud. No but nosy brothers do. Okay, okay. You wanna have a fucking go at it? Come on, come on, you wanna piece of me? Put them up, numb nuts. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're a girl, you don't even have those. Sorry, Luz! No, no, sorry is when you step on somebody's fin at the movie theater. Yeah, that's sorry. Sorry Oscar. is when you say, hey, when's the baby do? And it turns out the person's just fat! My god, are you still talking? Guard, 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 lose something. Oh! Uh, no. If you're looking for something, maybe I can assist you. I'm just practicing for the, uh, Little Miss Chimney Sweep pageant. Yeah, whatever, bitch. There's nothing up there. There's gotta be! Now keep looking! Ow! I'm Lana Loud, not fucking Santa Claus! Lincoln is just snooping around, just seeing how his sisters are actually trying to find the money and not even admit their guilt of what they're really in search for. As if being greedy doesn't pay off. <laughs> Yes, I'm practicing my drums. Survey says we have ways of making you squawk. 
Answer the ringing in my head. Oh. Wait a minute, check this out. That's a good one. <laughs> Gross, what is that? Get off my pumps! I'm gonna pump your face if you don't move faster! Oh, shut up! Let's just get this over with! Ugh, why didn't Mrs. Demone just tell us where the money is? Kronk, help me out here! Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, no shit. I don't know! Let's ask her! Doing? Uh, we're just dusting. Wait, I thought we were looking for the money. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay, admit it. You're all looking for the money, aren't you? Uh, Obviously. Duh. Duh. Heck, yes, we are. Where'd you find your first clue, Sherlock? Survey says. <laughs> that was cool. You guys didn't even believe the money existed. I'm the one who should get it. Forget that. I'm finding it for myself. Not if I find it first. Yeah. Dream on. Dream on. Be the top dream come to That's it. Oh. It's mine. Why the fuck did y'all grab Lincoln and put him up into this fight? He didn't deserve to be in it. Hell, if they didn't grab him, he wouldn't be part of this damn fight anyway. And he wouldn't have never got himself in this fucking situation. But obviously, these dum-dums haven't even learned a lesson, and the dad sends them back up to the attic. As if you th couldn't think more batshit craziness could actually happen. I swear, this feels more like a Sin episode that, that Chris actually made compared to Study Muffin. The answer must be in here somewhere. I know it. Reflect upon what I've said here. What could that mean? Reflect! Hey, while you're at it, I dare you to say his name five times. Maybe then he'll actually get your sisters. Tell everyone. But instead, Lincoln actually goes and gets the note that's above. What's that? <gasps> Nothing! Lincoln found another letter! Well done, you found the next clue. But beware, if you fight like my family did, you'll never get to the bottom of the matter. Hmm, this whole thing sounds like it's a setup. If that was so, then Lynn and Rita would have actually known the history about this house. Because anytime you buy a house, there's a little history story behind it. Then again, with the birth story of Lincoln, I still find that bull. You guys, maybe we should listen to her and stop fighting. Yeah, Lincoln's right. As soon as we're done cleaning here, we should totally work together to find the money. Where do you think you're going? Hey! Lori's going after the money! Come on, damn it! I'm gonna get him! I don't know where Wait! Damn it! Guys, the letter! Remember what Sharon Demone said! Forget Sharon Demone! It's every man for himself! Don't you raise a hand to me, Missy. I'll put you in a figure four leg lock. I haven't done anything bad yet. Now that's the first good idea you ever had. Then again, most rich people and even selfish pageant princesses actually want to die selfish. Another money, boy! Now go find more! Hey, spit it out, Charles! So help me, I will get that dollar back even if I have to wait for it to come out the other end! Please do not do this. Please do that shit. <laughs> I just love how big and buggy those eyes got on Lana. I summon you from the great beyond. Mrs. Sharon me. Come on, lady, just tell me where the dough is. Did you even watch that movie? Then again, don't even watch it at all. It was a bad movie anyway. 
What did Sharon say? Sharon said get out of her room! Here's John's first bow tie. Some sunglasses, cousin Wanda's wig, and Orpha's false teeth. Roy Ogre's fruit, strings, stealing wax, and all that funny stuff. Well, I guess there's nothing here. Hey, what? Stay out! Oh, this is yeah. Okay, I never thought I'd have the balls to say this, but I just don't like Luna Loud in this episode. Think about what episode came before this, and we just got something good out of her on that one, and now we come to this kind of piece of shit of abomination. She is totally out of character here, and I just don't like that about Luna, especially with all the other characters. <laughs> I'll show you a big dumb balling ass. So Lincoln decides to search his own room and he finds not even a damn dollar or something green and wrinkly. Not even a penny. Hey, you animals! Silence, you savage! <laughs> One more word and I will feed you to my children. I found it! <laughs> you found the money? No, my missing floral pump. <gasps> the money's not up here! Survey says... Taxi! Well, at least we all know her mind likes to wander so much. She loses her focus so much she doesn't even know where her brain is. And here comes one of the biggest Razzie award winning bullshit complex that this should never even happen at all. We gotta catch him and we gotta kill him. In two, one. We've literally searched the whole house and nothing! And as stupidly and greedy and unlikable as they are, they ripped the ladder apart, which means no one's gonna get the fucking money. I wonder why. Oh, we're not. Why? What are you talking about? Because all we did was fight over it. And this is exactly what Sharon Demone warned us about. I'll take a crack at Jonesy. Oh yeah? Ball up, stepsis. Don't call me that. How about this? From now on, anytime we find money, whether it's a hidden fortune or even this quarter, we all share it equally. Yeah, right. Look where that went for a season five episode. Okay, okay. Right. sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. sounds good. You know, I kind of like that. I'll even share the dollar I got back from Charles. Ready? Ready! <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. That's disgusting! No. Oh, we're sorry, Lily. Did your noisy sisters and brother wake you? Hey, hey blow me. Like Mr. Darling said before, how can you expect your children to grow up when, frankly, Lori, you're as bad as they are? 
But there's one more note that's stuck on Lily's diaper, which I don't know how the fuck that even happened, unless somebody actually set this whole shit up. It's a map! If you're reading this, it means you came together and got to the bottom of the matter! Congratulations! You're almost there! Yeah! But wait, how could you have known the map would be on Lily's bottom? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> X marks the spot! I love solving for X! Yeah, seeing a huge X mark in their backyard, this looks too good to be true. I just hope Lynn Senior didn't actually hire somebody to actually plan this shit out like he did in Lock and Loud. Dig! 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 I've got some experience digging holes. Digging is fun for the whole family. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I forgot how to laugh. Bunch of bullshit. We dig, 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 dig from early on till night. We dig, 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 dig. It's locked. I got this. This ought to be good. Shut it, bitch. <gasps> wow. Holy shit. Did not see that coming. What? There's more to my head than just air, you know. Survey says... Hens love roosters, geese love ganders, everyone else loves... Lenny! Not me! Everyone who counts loves... Lenny! Do I even have to joke about this? If she had a brain, she'd be dangerous. What? <gasps> so if we shared equally, that means we each get a... 45.45454455 dollars each. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. You know, I say that's a good idea, but somehow your math is way off. Cause 45 dollars and 45 cents times 11, that would actually equal up to 499 dollars and 95 cents. So there would be a nickel remaining. So make that 10 times $50 and you all would actually have the equal amount. I mean, what the hell is Lily actually gonna do with $45 anyway? Pay attention in math class and you'll actually get your math correctly in the future. Cause that right there is not a whole number. It was really nice for you to give up your work bonus. What the fuck is Luna doing? It looks like she's having an epileptical Caesar. Just, oh my, look at this. How the fuck is she even doing this? I know it's a cartoon and all that shit, but I know there's a lot of funny cartoon physics that actually happened in this show, but I can just say right now that this show used to be a ground to earth show all the way up until halfway of season three. And season five, it makes it look worse, since all the bullshit that they're doing and recycling is really making season 5 look worse. But I'll talk about that in another video of why it is. And trust me, some of this has a lot more than season 4 did. Especially when they try to jump the shark a few times. I it was really nice of you to give up your work bonus. Are you ever going to tell them that you're Sharon D. Monet? Nah. I have to admit, it's nice to see them sharing money and not fighting over it. Bullshit. I don't know why you gave them your bonus money when really you should have kept that. Then they may have learned their lesson the hard way. They don't deserve it. Why haven't you guys punished these little idiots? You punished Lincoln a lot, but you never punished any of them. Of course, Lola actually got some punishment in a Tadler's Tale, and that's just it. No one else gets the punishment treatment like these two did. And especially Lynn. I mean, look at what they did to the house. Was this even part of Lynn Sr.'s plan? No. No, it was not. Well, now she can Sharon the cleanup. Who gave her permission to have a child? Yes, what is up with that? Money. There just isn't a lot of it in the Loud House. But when there is, it's good to know that from now on, the kids will share it. If only I wish that were fucking true. Ever since Chris Savino got fired, all the writers and staff decided to do shit their own way and just repeat some plots what they have already did before. You know, it's a good thing they fired Chris for what he did but then again, it kind of was a bad idea to let him go. Do a dime. I'll just uh, keep this one to myself. <laughs> Dumbass. Good God Almighty! It's a loud house.
and it's a beautiful day to fuck shit up. <laughs> the outrage, the abomination, the horror. This is an episode of season one that's really overhated by a lot of people. Quite good reason too, or reasons as I might add. Good lord, I hated this episode as well as they did. Everybody is completely out of character. Even Luna at one point in this episode where she kicks Lincoln out with the speakers and we just got for bros about to rock. Everybody in this episode is totally like mini versions of Lori, Lynn, and Lola. Which brings up the other question, why the fuck would Lori, Luann, and Luna actually be worrying about money when they actually make money? Mostly everybody in this episode is sinful with greed. As bad as they were fighting over a fucking quarter, it's about as bad as them fighting over a seat in Vanzilla. And I swear by almighty God, this better not happen again in season six. But one tiny saving grace was Lincoln. Sure, he was a bit unlikable as they are, but he wasn't too unlikable. At least he kept reminding his dumb sisters about sharing the money. But they completely don't give a shit. They go all through the house trashing and smashing and beating each other up, and they show no fucking remorse of what they're doing. They show no remorse, no regret, and they just get awarded in the end, which they don't fucking deserve. They deserve to be punished which what the parents should have done. And speaking of that, Lynn Sr. should have never gave him their, his bonus money. He should have actually punished their little asses, especially when they were the ones who were destroying the house. And he shouldn't be the one cleaning up the entire house. His children should. They're the ones who caused this shit storm to happen. So really, it's a very unpleasant episode. I barely have anything good to say about it. Except for that one little scene where they were quietly fighting in Lily's room without making a single sound. But everything else deserves to be in a hand basket and sent to hell. Just like some episodes in season 5 that have recycled or repetitive storylines that they have already done before. But I'll talk about that subject in another video. And if you want an episode that can entertain you while you're being punished, this is an episode for you. Be my fucking guest. But heed my warning, greed will not pay. Scrooge McDuck may be greedy, but at least he has a caring heart. That really doesn't make him too stingy, if you all remember what I said back in Out on the Limo review. But hey, sucks to be anybody who wanted to be like Jacob Marley. I'm the Loud House Critic, and next week, on to the main course. In the loud house, in the loud house, duck, dodge, push, and shove, it's how we show our love. In the loud house, in the loud house, one boy and ten girls wouldn't trade it for the world.